make it pretty rough on us in there, don't they, old man? I said, Mr. Cartwright, you'll buy yourself a whole new herd with what you earn on those shares. Well, I'll tell you, Mr. Peeling, I don't usually invest in gold mines. But I guess a little diversification is a pretty good thing now, then. Then shall we call it a deal? Yeah, it's a deal. <laughs> I got the certificates out of my safe and be back in a few minutes. All right, I'll be, uh, I'll be inside here. Help yourself to some whiskey, friend. Well, thank you, friend. I think I'll just stay with the beer. Thank you. Oh, me. This is going to be a night. Are you, uh, you celebrating? A hard-working man don't need nothing better than Saturday night for celebrating. <laughs> I think it's your right. Oh, this, 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 there's gold dust. <laughs> Been having a run of luck in Downeyville. Yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. He's done some man a good shake, and a man could collect himself a fair steak. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, half breed, bring me a beer. My boy has got a name. I called him by his name. Half-breed. <laughs> Things get to my shirts around here at times. Yeah, I can see that. Jenkins is my name. You a stranger in town? Well, I'm here in some business. I'll be leaving first thing in the morning. Stay clear of big Charlie Monaghan. He cheats them cards. I remember that. I ain't telling you no lie. I lost my first stake to big Charlie. Cleaned down to my mule and my pickaxe. What's out of here? Seems how you're a stranger in town and won't tell. I'm going to let you in on a secret. Huh? I'm going to get things evened up. Old Jenkins is going to get even with Big Charlie tonight. Oh, well, uh, why don't you hold off till morning? Things will look a whole lot different. I had this notion for a good long while. It's only good I ever did have. And I'm going to get it off my mind tonight. Somebody's got to show him. And I'm just the one that can do it. I see you've met old Jenkins, Mr. Cartwright. Old Jenkins, uh, well, he sure was making some threats. Oh, Jenkins is always threatening to do something. He's always mad at somebody. He seemed pretty determined. <laughs> Folks in Donnyville don't take that old codger serious anymore. No reason why you should. Yeah. yeah I guess you're right. Feeling a little tired this morning? I done it, friend. You done what? Burn down Big Charlie Shack. Burn him out of everything he has. Burn it clean to the ground. Oh, made a grand blaze while it lasted. Uh, you know something, friend? Taste of ashes is bitter, isn't it? 
That's right. And ain't they didn't deserve it. And there ain't a man in Donnyville that wouldn't like to see Big Charlie get done in. Do you realize what a terrible thing you've done? I do now. Well, what are you going to do about it? I, I just don't know. I reckon I'll have to own up to it. But I'm scared if, if I do, he's going to knock me crosswise. Might have been a good idea if you'd thought of that last night. Where's this place you're talking about? It's just over on the other side of town there. What's left of it? A couple of miles. Well, I, I gotta be getting home. Friend. Would you? Yeah. What do I want? Well, I, I hate to go over there and face them all by myself alone. Would you? Make you feel better if I went with you? Would you? Well, you just wait right there. I gotta go round up Snowy Sue. <laughs> she got lost in the freakers last night. I gotta go find her. Snowy Sue! Get her from you. Snowy Sue! Where in it? Where is it? Snowy Sue! Where in it? Good job, Snowy. Come on. Done this, I'll kill him. So help me. I mean, is that minor you beat up in town, huh? No, nobody felt my fist had come near this place. They wouldn't dare. I don't know why I hang around this town anyway. There's a lot better places than this rotten hole. You ain't thinking of pulling out, are you, Pa? What's to keep me here? This? Yeah. This. Engrave. Remember how it was when your mother was alive? We all tried to live fine, happy. Bother nobody. Remember how it was, Charlie, too? I remember, Pa. I loved your mother. She was a Shoshone. They wore her down with her insults and their hate and it killed her. That's why I've been stealing them blind ever since for what they've done to her. I remember Ma crying. Even her own people turned against her. Marrying a white man, me. So both white and Indian treated her like dirt. The way they treat you now. Well, I don't care about them. I don't need them. You don't need anybody. As long as you get the first jump. Because it's them that steals before they get robbed. And shoots before they get shot that survive in this world. You hear me, boy? I hear you, Pa. Well, you do the other fella before he does you. That's what I've been trying to drum into you ever since your mother died. And don't you forget it. Pa, if, if you pull out, you ain't gonna leave me alone, are you? Oh, well. Come along, if you want it. I'll come with you, Pa. There ain't no reason why me and Big Charlie can't talk this out, is there? Well, uh, Johnny wants to talk. Look, I've been having a run of luck lately. I, I got more than enough to help him build a new shack. Well, why don't you tell him that right off? I aim to. Good. Ah, oh, come on. There's nothing left here we can use. Hey, Pa. Uh, oh. I want the one who done this. Oh, 
right over there. I sure am much obliged to you, friend, for coming all this way out here with me. Much obliged to you. Well, don't you want me to go the rest of the way? I gotta face up to him sometime alone. Well, you're gonna have to do that all right. You sure you want to do it now? I'm sure. Come on, Snorri Sue, let's go. Yeah. He didn't even have a gun. So? He'd be just as dead if he had one. Just take that gun out real easy. Throw it over here. Don't you try anything, son. You killed him. Yeah. He came here to say that he was sorry for what he'd done. He said it? He wanted to pay you. We better get into town and see the sheriff. Oh, it's fine. He burnt me out. You killed him, and he didn't have a gun. Put him on his mule. Mister, you give me any trouble, I'll see you dead. You stay for the hanging, Mr. Cartwright. Oh, I've seen plenty of them in my time, Mr. Fielding. It's going to be a special day for Downeyville. You don't get to see a thing like this every day. Uh, are you sure now you can't stay on a bit? No, I got some stops to make before I get home. Well, this is our first legal hanging, you know. It's a far cry from the length of rope and a handy tree. Progress is what it is. You'll have real progress, Mr. Fielding, when there won't be any more need for hangings. When men stop settling the differences with guns. What about Monaghan's son? Well, if he's got any sense, he'll go to his mother's tribe. You think they'll accept him? Maybe, maybe not. But he never did fit in here. They don't cotton the Indians. Never was one you could trust. The boy get a chance here in Downerville, Mr. Fielding? Well, folks don't want him here. That's not your problem, Mr. Cartwright. Son, like you asked. Leave us alone. You just got a couple of minutes. That'll be enough. I didn't know you were still around. No place else to go. Pa, I uh, wish I could have helped you the way you always done for me. It's too late for that now. Where you been sleeping, boy? Oh, I pitched camp down by the creek. There's no reason for you to hang around Downeyville any longer. I got some place for you to go after... after the hanging. Where's that, Pa? You're gonna do something for me, boy. You're gonna give me your word on it right now. What is it? Nobody. Nobody ever found that Jenkins. Nobody would have missed him if it hadn't been for Cartwright. You and me, we'd be free and running if it hadn't been for him. You're gonna get Ben Cartwright, Charlie, too. Well? You want me to kill him? Yes. I don't 
gonna die like a run chicken at the end of that rope. Hold on a cut of Ben Cartwright, and I won't die peaceful until you say you're gonna get him. I wanna wipe him clean off the face of the earth. No man ever did wrong to a Monahan and lived to tell of it. And you're gonna see that it stays that way, you hear me, boy? Yes, Pa. And swear it. Take an oath, Charlie, too. Swear it. You hear me, boy? Swear it! On your father's grave, swear it! I swear it. Calvin, we appreciate your coming all the way out here. Oh, I had to see the marshal in Carson City. Wasn't any trouble stopping here. Well, we're glad you did. Charlie Toole will probably go off to join the Shoshones and never give a thought to his promise. But I thought your pa ought to know about it. Well, I better be on my way. Thank you, Jim. Charlie, well. Thanks again, Sheriff. Have a good trip. Thank you very much. What do you think, Joe? I don't know. It could be nothing. I think I'll ride to Downeyville by way out and see if I can't find Pa. What if you don't find him? I'll see if I can track down this Charlie, too. Yeah. I'll go with you. No, no, you better stay here. Warn Pa in case I miss him. What happens if you find this Charlie, too? Then what? I don't know. All I know is there's a man somewhere with an oath to kill Ben Cartwright. Gotta find Pa before he does. Help me. I'm uh, looking for a fellow named Charlie Two. You know where he is? Charlie Two? You a friend of that half breeds? I don't remember talking to you. Well, whether you remember or not, you're a friend of that dirty Indian. We don't want you around here. Then why don't you mind your own business? I think I will. <laughs>
Get the sheriff. Thanks. I come for my pa's wages. There. That's all he had coming? That's right. What happened? He drew on me with my back turned. This fella shot first, saved my life. That right? You saw what happened, tell him. It's like he says. you did for me in there. Oh, that's all right. It's good practice. You didn't look like you needed any practice. You can really handle that gun. Yeah, well, I hope you can handle one, too. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Well, if you stick around town much longer, that mine will be looking for you. Well, there's somebody I gotta find first. Good luck. Hey, uh, Sheriff, you, uh, you know a fellow named Charlie, too? The half-breed had just saved your life. What are you doing here? So you're riding up ahead. If we're going in the same direction, I might like some company. Me? Yeah, why? I'm a half-breed. My name's Joe. They call me Charlie, too. I thought you said you were staying in Downeyville. Oh, yeah, I was, but uh, that fellow I said I was looking for, he'd already left. Big Charlie Monahan. I guess you never heard of him. Everybody in Downeyville knew him, though. Sounds like a pretty important man. Oh, he was important. One day in his life, the day they hanged him, it was my pa. I'm sorry. Raised me from the time I was a little kid. 
What happened to your mom? She died when I was a baby. I said of mine. Never even knew her. Are you heading out? Yep. Where are you going? Virginia City. Look, I live in Virginia City. Why don't we ride along together? Virginia City, huh? You know uh, Ben Cartwright? Yeah, yeah, I know. She's got a family? Mm-hmm. Friends of yours? Yeah, yeah, they're real, real good friends of mine. You don't pick the right kind of company. Well, I picked you, Charlie. Doggone. Ain't you hey, there, Joe? Hey, how you doing, Jed? Good to see you. How are things on the Fonderosa, Joe? Well, they're fine, just fine. Say hello to your pa and horse. Oh. Yeah, I sure will do that. You take it easy now. Hey. Starting to smell good. I'm hungry. How about you? Sure talk a lot, Charlie. <sighs> oh, come from Salem City with a washbowl on my knee. Going to California, gold us for to see. What's the matter? Uh, you don't like my singing? Well, whenever I'm hungry, I sing. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> eh, I guess it's not too good anyway. Mmm, this is good. You know that ranch of ours I was telling you about? You really like it. It's, uh, it's kind of land a man can feel free in. So my pa saw it when he first started. I think you'd like my pa. We got, uh, got a lot of cattle, good grazing land, real good fishing, great trout fishing. A lot of hard work, but a lot of fun along with it. What's the matter? Don't you like my cooking? Where are you going? Something I got to do alone. Who are you going to kill, Charlie? That's what it's all about, isn't it? You riding into Virginia City alone? You're going to kill that Ben Cartwright, aren't you? What's that got to do with you? You saved my life. I'm trying to do the same for you. You're riding into a lot of trouble. There's no reason why we can't ride alone together. Suit yourself. Here, Paul. You and me need to do some talking. What's the matter? Something wrong? Oh, probably not, Paul. Look, just sit down, relax, and let me get you a cup of coffee, and I'll tell you all about it. This desert country is going to be pretty rough on me.
You're just gonna kill him, huh? How are you gonna go about it, Charlie? You're just gonna ride into Virginia City, ask for Ben Cartwright, and start shooting, huh? Maybe, maybe. What do I have to say to you? How do I make you listen to sense? Well, don't try. Just don't try, because we're on different sides. You don't understand me. Oh, come on. Stop feeling sorry for yourself because you're a half-breed. No, no, you don't understand what it's like to have people laugh at you and make fun of you and call you names. To look in their eyes and see nothing but hate. You don't understand any of that. You're just like all the rest of them. Am I, Charlie? Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right, Charlie. I'm a white man. I'm a white man, Charlie. I don't know that kind of hate. But I know enough about hate to see it in your eyes. You want to kill a man. You don't care if you're right or you're wrong. You just want to kill him. What's the use? Just trying to make you see it, Charlie. I'm trying to make you see it because I want to be your friend. But you gotta give me a chance. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, we could sure use some water. Yeah. Uh, you can, you're welcome to anything you'd like, young fella. Just a pot of coffee in there. You and your friend here are welcome to a cup. I'm riding out to Virginia City. Charlie, why don't you, uh, why don't you go fill those canteens, huh? Gotta get this horse reshod. Spade's coming in tomorrow. They're gonna need him. Don't look around at me when I'm talking to you. My name is Cartwright, Joe Cartwright. The fellow I'm with is called Charlie Two. He's out to kill my father. When you get to Virginia City, I want you to warn the sheriff. You say something, young fella? Yeah, we're, uh... I'm much obliged for the water. I well, say we grab some of that coffee he was talking about. You were going to tell him to warn the Cartwrights, weren't you? Don't make no difference, Joe. Don't make no difference. your gun, Charlie. I gotta stop you. I've done everything I know how. See, the man you want to kill, Ben Cartwright, he's my father. All right, unbuckle your gun belt. Slow and easy and drop it on the ground. Tomahawk, too. Nice and easy.
Uncle Joe should have been back by now. Oh, Pa, go easy on him. He just lost track of the time he's been gone, that's all. You know, he's always losing track of time. Should have more concern about the feelings of others. He could have sent a message. Maybe he will. Unless he can't. Unless he's some kind of trouble. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Well, maybe I'd ride down around Downeyville. He should be around there somewhere. Yeah, what if you run into Charlie, too? Well, if I run into him, I run into him. Look, Paul, he knows you. He ain't never seen me before. Why don't I go? Oh, so I'm a big boy now. I'll just find little Joe. We'll come on back home. Stay, stay right there. You get ready to draw. There's no way to settle anything, Charlie. Well, it's my way. Gun isn't going to make any difference. Won't make up for anything. It'll make up for what you did to my pa. You saw your pa shoot an unarmed man. And if it wasn't for you, my pa'd still be alive. Maybe be alive. If it wasn't for the law. And if it wasn't for laws, maybe none of us would be alive. I don't want to hear any more. Now draw. Jolly! Joseph, stay out of this! Well, go ahead, Charlie. Shoot me. Go on, what are you waiting for? I've got a gun on. Well, go on, shoot me! You're big Charlie Monahan's kid. Prove you're a killer just like he was. Well, go ahead, shoot me!
You could kill me, Charlie. You never wanted to kill anybody. It's just not in you. See you. See you. Just got back from Carson City. I stopped on the way in Donovan. Uh -huh. Sheriff Calvin told me what happened. I'm sorry. I understand you got the Monahan boy here. Well, yeah, he's inside the house. Okay. Well, take him off your hands. <laughs> what for, Clem? Uh, Sheriff Calvin told me that boy threatened your life. Now, that's true, isn't it? Sheriff Calvin told you that? I wonder why he'd tell you a thing like that. Joe, I'm doing fine. Good to see you. Uh, this, uh, this is Charlie, too. Charlie, too. Yeah, Paul, me and Charlie are going to take a ride around the ranch. I want to show him some of the Ponderosa. Oh, good idea. Go on, son. Charlie, I'm going to show you a stream that's got the biggest trout in it you ever saw in your life. Oh, I come from Salem City with a washboard Joe. on my knee. Joe. And I'm... Huh? You uh, told me once you only sing when you're hungry, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go catch some of that trout and start eating fast. Mm. Oh, Ben. You got any plans for that boy? Well, he hasn't had any schooling, and I thought if he wanted to have an education, I'd see to it that he got one. Of course, he'll have to make his own plans. I, I'll just help out any which way I can. And then I guess he's going to be your responsibility. Yeah. You know, Clem, I guess in a way he has been. Ever since that day his father was hanged. That's game. Ben, that's game. That's two beers you owe me. Come on, how about another one? That young son of mine should have been back by now. Oh, boy, it's going to take him quite a spell around up all them horses. Well, it doesn't have to take this long, does it? Oh, Ben, quit being an old mother hen. You know little Joe can take care of himself. Hey. Here he comes now. Joe, what do you, what do you got that saddle roll around you for? Because I can't sit down. Why not? I got sh shot. Shot? Where? Right in the middle of the Ponderosa. Help, help me down. I'm here. Don't wait. Wait a minute. That's easy. 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 Oh. Easy. Don't hold oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, 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 no, no, who shot you, Joe? I don't know. Well, what happened? I was, I was running towards this fellow, see? Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Huh? Were you running backwards? No, I wasn't running backwards. A bullet ricocheted off a rock near Willow Creek. Well, just don't stand there. Do something. Like what? Like go after him. Go after who? The man that shot me. Well, who was he? I told you I don't know. Joseph, Joseph, just calm 
Calm down, now. Let's go to make down. some sense out of this. Come on, now. sit down over there. Pa, I, I told you, I can't, I can't sit down, Pa. What's this? Whose hat is this? It's his hat. Whose hat? The man that, the man that shot me's hat. All right, hat. now quiet down, everybody. If a crime has been committed... If a like... crime has been committed! Did you hear that? If a crime has been committed. Now hold everything, Joe. Just give me the facts, will you? Give me the facts. All right, here are the facts. Here are the facts. I'm riding along, Pa. Peacefully. I'm riding along. I ride over a ridge. There I see a man lassoing one of our horses. I get off my horse and I start to go towards him. He shoots at me. I shoot at him. He shoots at me. I think I, think I hit him in the left shoulder. I, I know where he hit me. And I, I shot that hat off his head. <laughs> Seems like you fellas are playing a little game of heads and tails. <laughs> <laughs> Name in here, Jay Reichman. Hmm. Does that mean anything to you? Never heard of him. What did he look like, Joe? I don't know. He's too too far away. Well, I'll do some investigating as soon as I can. As soon as you can. How soon is that? Well, I don't know. I got to meet Sheriff Coffee in Carson City tomorrow morning. I'm sorry, Joe. Well, look. If you if you're just going to let murderers get away scot free, maybe we could use a new deputy around here. Now wait a minute, Joe. Wait a minute. Could you send uh, the other deputy? Well, he's got the measles, Ben. Got the measles. I'm sorry, I can't do anything right now. Well, could you deputize somebody else? Well, like who? Want to give it a try, Hoss? It's all right, brother. Forget it. Forget it. Let the man who tried to murder your brother, your own brother, your own flesh and blood, let him ride away. Let him get away, Scott Free. Forget I asked you. I'll swear you in. Do you? I do. You are. I think I'll uh, go in the house and soak, soak my feet. Howdy. Nice weather we're having, huh? Tolerable. I'm looking for a fellow by the name of Reitman, Jay Reitman. You ever hear of him? Nope. Thanks. Welcome. Can't trust a man Charlie don't like. 
I reckon this is Charlie, huh? That's Charlie. Well, maybe he just don't know me. Uh, neither do we. Yeah, name's Cartwright. Horse Cartwright. Ponderosa Cartwrights? That's right. May be wrong. What you doing on our patch of land? I'm uh, looking for a fellow by the name of Reichman. Well, I can open, fellas. Which Reichman? Just Jay Reichman's all I know. You a friend of his? No. Uh, as a matter of fact, I ain't never seen him. I'm, I'm a special deputy. I just want to ask him some questions. Aiming to arrest him? Well, that. That sort of depends. So, um, uh, you don't know Reichman, huh? No, I ain't got much of a description of him, neither. Well, <laughs> maybe we can, uh, help him out, huh, boys? I'd appreciate that. Well, Reichman has got two heads, each one of them meaner than the other one, got four arms that move like sidewinders and four legs that stomp like mules. Uses a wagon tongue for a toothpick, and he can shoot a bumblebee in a behind at 400 yards. Just a ordinary sort of fellow then, huh? Might say that. You've been a big help. Thanks. Welcome. in the hills, we got a lot of wild hogs. Wild hogs got big noses. Sometimes they put their noses in the wrong place. And when they do, they get bit. I can see that news travels fast around here. Yeah, well, especially bad news. Meaning what? Meaning don't be a hog. Hey, we don't allow no dogs around here. He ain't mine. <laughs> I wasn't talking about him. You know, this is really and truly a nice, friendly little town. Yes, sir. I've been here 20 minutes. And in those 20 minutes, I've been snapped at, snipped at, and snarled at. And I got a funny feeling that if I hang around much longer, I'm liable to get shot at. I came into this town looking for a feller I'd never seen before named Jay Reichman. Know very little about him. One thing, he likes to shoot at fellers. Another thing is he likes to freeload on other people's brood mares. I got another funny feeling. I got a funny feeling I just found him. Put your gun up there on the bar and slide it down. Move. You too, buddy. On the bar. What's your name? Reichman. J. Your name, not your initial. J for Jeb. Yours? <laughs> Judd. Well, looks like I hit the jackpot, don't it, boys? I didn't know your can came in bunches, but if there's a dozen of you, I'm going to take you back to Virginia City and you're going to stand trial. Virginia City? Oh, that's about 800 miles from here. I haven't been out of town half a mile in a year. 
Me neither. That's good. You can tell it to the judge. And now, wait a minute. I don't see any sense in that. Judge just told you you hadn't been with Miles at that place. And I told you the same thing. Now, it seems to me that's about the end of it. Besides, nobody got killed, did they? That's right. Nobody did get killed, but how did you know that? Oh, he wasn't telling you. He was just asking. Well, well from now on, I'm going to do the asking. And you boys are going to do the answering. Now, let's get over and see the sheriff. I'm sure you had occasion to meet him several times. Uh, now, just a minute. You got any proof of what you've been saying? I got all the proof I need, buddy. Now, get moving. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like your percentage is gone. Got a nice even fight right here. Ain't you fellas a little bit young for all this rough stuff? Yeah, but you see, we we're gonna get older and you mightn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, how you want it? For uh, keeps or for fun? All right. All right. <laughs> I'm getting just about sick and tired of this town, and you. And that goes for you, too, Charlie. And all this talk. Now, come on. This month, this place has been busted up. Now, yeah, don't we always clean it up for you? Give me a gun. All right, you do get. We're just getting our irons, Ma. Ma'am, I sure would like they to. They won't go far. Well, they're all heated up. There'd just be more trouble. You, uh, you ought to relax some yourself. Now, just cool off. Hey, let me see Fat Joe's gun. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Be a real little man now, huh? Come on, come on, come on. You look like a real nice man. What I can see of you. What are you doing picking on those two little boys? Two little boys? Ha! That's a laugh. Meaner than a couple of wild bulls, those two little boys, as you call them. This is a real small town, and they are young, and maybe there isn't too much excitement around here for them. Uh, they work for you? 
Well, that's a hard question. Sometimes I don't know whether they work for me or I work for them. I guess it's a little bit of both. I'm their mother. Mama, I hate to tell you this, but one of your boys is guilty of attempt horse theft and assault with a deadly weapon. Well, you got, uh, you got positive proof that one of my boys did what you say? No, well, ma'am, I ain't got proof positive, but there's lots of circumstantial evidence. Any horses took? No, ma'am. Any money took? No. Anybody got shot? Yeah. Yeah, somebody got shot. My little brother got shot. That's who got shot. Where is he shot? Well, he shot in the... He was shot... where the person meets the saddle. Well, that don't sound too serious to me. Well, how'd you like to get shot in the... Ain't your brother all right now? Well, he can't sit down. Well, you know, you look like a real reasonable young man. And on the basis of what you have just told me, mister, you can go shinny up a gum tree. You think I'm going to turn over one of my boys to you or to anybody else? You are wrong. Mister, your case is a bottle short. Uh, Mel. Why don't we let the court decide that? Strange court in a strange town. But the judge scratching the sheriff's back and the sheriff scratching the judge's back. They're both up for election and the local people are breathing down their necks. Man, would have a fine chance in a court like that. Besides, in my opinion, just ain't much of a crime. My boys are young and they're feisty and they're a little bit rougher than most, but they ain't criminals. The meeting's now adjourned. Hey, Ma'am, may I just suggest that they, they try to clear themselves? Is your brother a young fella? Yes, sir. He's got lots of time to sit down. Freddy, you seen my gun? Here. Ah, very good. Thanks. Welcome. into that lady a while ago and knocked off. Charlie don't like. Pretty lively little ruckus over there. Saw most of it from here. Didn't go over though. Can't stand the sight of blood. Chaw? No, thanks. You ought to. I've been chawing since I was seven. Tobacco kills the germs so as your gums don't rot. You in uh, some sort of trouble? Nope. Just doing my job. I'm in town to pick up a fellow by the name of Reitman. Well, then you are in trouble. Which one you after, Jeb or Judd? Well, there's sort of a problem there. I, I don't know which one I'm after. Well, whoever it is you want, whatever was it he did. Well, he tried to steal a horse and he shot a man. Kill him? Nope. Too bad. Could have used the business. You sheriff? Nope. Just a special deputy that's sent in the town to pick up Reichman and take him back to stand trial, that's all. And you can't figure out which one you want. That about it? That's about it. Well, that is a problem, all right, all right. Now, the Reichman boys, they ain't killers. Of course, there ain't a hen house in town, they ain't thieved. And <laughs> neighbors all grease their pigs when they see the Reichman boys coming. Maybe they steal just out of plain cussedness. 
They ain't never thieved a bank or shot anybody or anything important like that. They're just trying to be real outlaws and just can't seem to make it. Yeah. Give them time. You might be right. They yeah, mean enough for anything. <laughs> yeah, but Willie May, she keeps them both of them on a right short reign. <laughs> yeah, quite a woman, Willie May. Yeah. You sure you don't want a chaw? Oh, you ought to have a chaw. Hardens up the jaw muscles. Could you tell me where the sheriff's office is at? Well, half the time it's in the jail, and the other half the time it's in the saloon. Now, if he ain't in the jail, he's drunk. If he ain't in the saloon, he's broke. Well, now, he ain't in the saloon, so he must be in the jail. It's down the street. Thanks. It won't do you much good, though. <laughs> Sheriff, he's a real character. He ain't normal like the rest of us folks here. Now, putting him in charge of the hoosgow is like putting the fox in charge of the chickens. <laughs> he likes his liquor. Ain't shot his gun in five years except maybe to chase off a few crows, and he's yellower than a dry cornstalk. <laughs> Otherwise, he's a he's a pretty nice fella. <laughs> you sure you don't want a chaw? No, thanks. <laughs> Have it your own way. Now, you uh, you need any business, though, you call on me. Uh, I shave him cleaner and keener and bury him deeper and cheaper. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> Sheriff? I guess I am. What's on your mind? Well, I... I got sort of a problem. You got a problem? I got sciatica, my wife's got the croup, and I ain't been paid in four months. And you got a problem. Huh. Well, let's have it. Well, I... I've been deputized to come here and pick up a man for questioning. Questioning for what? For horse thieving and... Shooting at a man. Who do you claim shot him? A fellow by the name of Reichman. Just one man named Reichman? That's right. Well, now, that's different. We got two Reichmans here. Which one was it? I, I don't know. He don't know. What do you think of that, Skinny? When you find out, Come back. If I do, will I get a warrant? No. Why not? Until I get paid my wages, I don't do nothing. Well, I reckon that sort of leaves me on my own, don't it? And good luck to you. Oh, uh, if there's any shooting, don't expect me to come a-running. No. Don't worry. I won't. And by the way, you get this varmint off my back, or Pop goes a weasel. Thanks. Welcome. You still in town? You know, Freddie, a peculiar thing about this town. You look at it from a distance, and it's as pretty as a wildflower. But you get in close and take a good look at it, and it takes on the appearance of a cactus. It's thorny, sticky, and poisonous. You talk real pretty. Yeah. Freddie, maybe you can talk pretty. I need some information. Sorry, we just plumb ran out of information. Freddy, where do the Ragman boys hang out? Look, like I said, we're fresh out of information, but we just got in a big supply of advice. You're too nosy for your own. 
Don't hit me, mister. Don't you hit me. I'm a sick man. Yeah. Yep, you sure are at that. That's using your head, young fella. Too many people using their fists around here. Now, how about a touch? Might ease your temper. No, thanks. Well, it tastes like formaldehyde. Why do you drink it? It's all you've got. You talk to the sheriff? Yep. Was I right? Right as rain. And I guess you'll saddle up and trot on home, huh? No, sir. No, sir. I came here to do a job, and I'm going to do it. That's the kind of talk I like to hear. You know, I still think it was the Reichman stole them bronze handles off that coffin I had sent up here for old Colonel Atchison. Well, they might act a little rough at times, but they're local boys and they're good customers. I wish there was customers of mine. Well, good luck. Maybe them Reichmans will get buggy whipped after all. Well, you can't fish a stream that's dry. I ain't been able to locate them. No line on them, huh? <sighs> nope. This town's full of advice, but dang little information. Well, I'll tell you now. You go out that door, you ride south for a mile and a half, turn left at Superstition Fork for a half mile, and you'll see what looks like an overgrown outhouse, standing there mean and nasty behind a stand of wild oaks. There's also a rickety barn filled with stolen saddles and, and probably a rebranded steer, too. Uh, there's no telling what or who you might find out there. Are you sure you won't have a touch just to get you going? No, thanks. Well, uh, if anybody should turn up dead, and I hope it ain't you, uh, I'd appreciate the business. I know. Cheaper and deeper, right? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> expect to be a deputy around here, you'd better settle down, boy. I'm just listening. No, Ma, he was trespassing. We got a right to do whatever. Shut up. 
Now, you have been butting these two little boys around like a billy goat, and you've been making serious charges. Now, let's just quit all this butting around and have a showdown right now. Well, that suits me fine, ma'am. That's fair enough. Oh, come on, Ma. Just let me, let me just hit him once. Shut up. Let him down. something and they claim that they they didn't somebody's lying i stand with my boys now you are on trial here not them well ma'am it appears that these little boys of yours are closer than a couple of buckwheats but one of them well i heard all that before uh you got any evidence yes i sure do i didn't come all this way without some evidence that old man this happened this happened Found at the scene of the crime, Exhibit A, Your Honor. Well, all it is is a hat with a hole in it. Mm hmm. And with a name in it, J. Reichman. Jeb, you lose a hat? No, ma'am. Chuck? No, ma'am. Ma'am, that hat is pretty damaging evidence. Well, somebody could have stole it. Well, when did all this take place? Two days ago, Tuesday. Jeff, where were you on Tuesday? Well, seems to me I was back in the barn all day, uh, soaping up some saddles. Judd? Hmm. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, I, I think I was in town uh, fighting Roger Jones. Well, that was Monday I fought right. Well, you better do some remembering. Yeah. I know where I was. I, I was down near the creek chasing some stray sheep. Well, you know that we don't own no sheep. Yeah, but I figure it's about time we did. I mean, well, pickings get pretty lean around here at times, Ma. Ma, Ma. Now, this is the third or fourth time that I told you. Maybe we'll starve, but we'll starve honest. I did it for you, Ma. I suppose you shot that man for me, too. Oh, Ma, I didn't. I asked Jeb. I had my hat on, too, didn't I, Jeb? Well. Now, son, I want the truth. To be fair, Judd, I... I remember seeing you all right, like like when you come in the barn, all tuckered out and kind of breathing hard. And yeah, yeah, but that was that was from that no, was from chasing that sheep. Jeb, now I was. But, but what I don't remember is, I don't remember. Did you have your hat on? Oh, now, Jim, Jim, please, you got to remember. Now I might have taken my hat off later or something, but I had it when I came back. I had it on. I think hard, son, and I don't want you to lie. Did he have his hat on or not? Well. Uh... I hate to do this to you, Judd, but I have to tell the truth. Ma, well, I don't think he did. Jeff. Well, take him away. I uh, tried to raise him decent. I, I, uh, I did my best. But I guess when all you got is a piece of scrub ground and no husband. I'm sorry, ma'am, I am. What'll happen to him? Well, ain't nothing gonna happen to him because he ain't going. You put that gun away. No, Ma. Listen, I didn't try to steal that horse, and I, I didn't gun that man either. Now, Jeff, you stay here and you help Ma, because I'm leaving. Like I say, if you're not guilty, like you claim, nothing is going to happen to you. 
But if you run off, I swear to you, you'll never be welcome in our land again. He's too young, or like he's too old. I don't know. All right, mister, he's yours. Ma'am, as it turns out, he's not the one I want. What happened to that arm, Jeb? Well, uh, just a scratch. Um, scratched on a tree. It looks like a bullet wound to me. It's a burn. My little brother said he might have winged him in the left arm. Jeb? Well, all right. I shot him, but I didn't mean to. I was just trying to scare him off. About that mare, Ma, I just figured we could use her. Yeah, I know you did it for me. But you let your own brother. No, I wasn't going to let him down. I was going to chase him along behind, behind the trail, you know. And then I was going to bushwhack him. Judd, you believe that? No, Ma. You try to lay the blame on me, huh? You try to lay... Hey. Boys! Hey, boys! Oh, let them be! Oh, it's okay. Are you going to take one of my boys away and I don't even know your name? Cartwright, man. Paul Cartwright. Ponderosa Cartwright? Yes, that's it. Want a drink? Oh. Yes, ma'am. I'd like one, thank you. Here you Paul's a real fine man. Well, we think so. Yeah, you're lucky. You're real lucky to have a paw like Ben Cartwright. Got them all? No. Everybody ought to have them all. But if he had his choice, I reckon every boy would rather have a paw. <clears throat> It is real hard raising a couple of wild buffaloes. You know, a boy needs a man to teach him how to hunt and fish and work and ride and be a man instead of an animal. Yeah. Girl, it's different. Ma'am, don't you think oh, I ought to... No, 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 they... That happens all the time. You know, my husband, bless him... He had a real quick temper, just like them, and he had a hard fist and a dry throat, but he never drew a gun on a man in his life, and I sure do hate to see one of my boys starting. You know, maybe it's a good thing that this thing happened now. Make your mistakes when you're young enough to fix them. What happened to him? Well, ma'am, I don't know what the what the penalty is for shooting a man in the well, where he where his person meets the saddle. <laughs> yeah, they wasn't no horse stolen, and, and the shooting was accidental. My little brother said that. So maybe they won't do nothing more than just find him. Well, I just hope it's a little one. We just spent our last four dollars on books. I. I was hoping that I could teach him how to read. You know, Hoss, that is the first time that Judd ever whipped Jeb. Well, maybe that's because he knew he was right, ma'am. Something for you and Foss to eat on the road. Well, we better get on the way. It's going to be dark for long. You're mad at me, are you, Jen? No, Jim. Hi, Ma. Y'all take good care of her now. 
We'll be waiting for you, son. I hated to make such a nuisance of myself, Miss Reichman. You've been mighty cooperative. Thanks. Welcome. You know, if we'd been in a real gunfight, you'd have been in a whole lot of trouble. Well? How's that? Well, why don't you just take out your gun and shoot at something? Shoot at what? Oh, anything. Ooh. You mean like that? Uh, but I, I put the... I reckon you must have fixed it. Yeah, I did that, Jim. Let me tell you something, boy. I don't wear this gun in a pair of diapers. I check it, and I clean it every night. A gun can either be your best friend or your worst enemy, and don't you forget it. you got to learn to respect them, Jim. That's one thing among many you've got yet to learn. Yeah, I know. Boy, there's a whole mess of things i got to learn. Yeah. No, nobody in our family ever been in jail before. Like my pa, I, I never shot anybody in my life. See, I shot towards your brother, not at him. I was scared, I guess. Must have been Ricochet got him. Boy, I'm sure glad he ain't hurt bad. Funny thing is, one gets hurt the most is Ma. She always tried so hard to do good with me and Judd. You know, Jeb, that was a dat burn fool thing I just done. Shooting up your hat. The only evidence I got. Can't have much of a case against you without it, can we? Well, I reckon that, but one thing to do, and that's let you go. You get on back to your mall, boy. But I want you to remember this. If you ever do anything to hurt your mall again, boy, I'll come after you personally, and you'll have to answer to me. You remember that. Now get. Thanks! Welcome. Well, it's about time he showed up. Well, good to see you back. Howdy, Paul. Joe. Well, uh... How'd it go? You, you find him? Well, in a way... What do you mean, in a way? Well, I mean, I found him, but... He got away. That's what I mean. <laughs> How come? Well, he... He was big, boy, and mean. Whew. Oh, oh so I... I just don't think you were cut out to be a lawman. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon I wasn't at that, Paul. But I'll tell you, I learned something. I learned to be grateful. For what? To you for being such a good Paul, to Joe and me and Adam, teaching us how to hunt and fish and ride and work and just stuff like that, just everything in general. Just grateful. Anything wrong with that? No. No, there isn't. Oh, I, I want you to know how grateful I am to you for what a wonderful job you've done for me. Thanks. Thanks. 